Welcome back to our assembly drawing. In this video segment, we will insert two isometric views using the model view command. Let's get started. Move the cursor to the view layout tab and left click once. From the view layout command manager, click on the model view button. Down below in the model view property manager, lesson A2 is loaded up as an open document. Click on the next icon. Under orientation, click on the isometric icon. Move the cursor to the SOLIDWORKS drawing area and the isometric icon will be attached to your cursor. Left click on the mouse in the approximate location shown. And just a little note, the isometric view is based on the orientation of the last saved assembly document. If you recall, lesson A2 was exploded and then we collapsed all the components back together. In order to view the exploded view, right click on the drawing view border of the isometric view and select properties. A drawing view properties window will appear down below under configuration information. Check the box next to show an exploded or model break state. Click the OK button. The exploded view of our assembly components is shown. You can click on the view border and move the exploded view around. Moving on, we will insert our second isometric view. Simply click on the model view button from the view layout command manager. Click on next. Under orientation, select the isometric icon. Move your cursor to the drawing area and left click the mouse in the approximate position shown. Change the display style of this isometric view simply by clicking on its view border, then selecting the flyout next to display styles from the heads up view toolbar. Click on shaded with edges. And just as a reminder, you can always rescale a drawing view or move it around in order to fit properly onto the drawing template page. We're using the C landscape Therefore, we have a little bit more space than the B landscape, which is very nice when you want to show an exploded view. And that concludes this video on inserting two isometric views and displaying one of them in the exploded state. On the next video, I will show you the process of creating a bill of materials and inserting it onto our sheet.